Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we are going to take a look at this double pedal from Mapex. Now this is going to be a very unusual product for my channel as far as my channel is concerned because my channel has videos about very different things but this is the first time I'm featuring a product that is um, that comes under musical instrument and specifically a uh, drum hardware. So this is the Mapex double pedal. I bought this about six years ago, more than six years ago, and I paid about thirteen thousand rupees. Uh, at the moment, this pedal is no not available uh, online as well as in my local shop. But you might be, if you're lucky, you might be able to find it uh, in a, a local shop if you're lucky. So the model number is uh, Mapex P501TW. So without any further delay, let's take a look at what we get in the box. And this is the box. Uh, it's a little beat up because this is a very old box. Uh, I kept the box because of the logo and whatnot. It says hardware because this is a drum hardware. So let's open it without any problem. Okay. So once you open it, you can see that it comes with a bag. So it comes in a, a bag. It's a normal duffel type of a bag so let me just take it out and keep the box aside because there is nothing in the box for our interest so this is the box or the bag you can see that it comes with a um, apex logo you can carry it like this or you can also carry it like that you can put this on your shoulder and then carry it. This is a little soft with some sponge so that it will not hurt your shoulder. Uh, I like to carry it like this because it feels like a expensive thing, feels like a briefcase and gives you a more professional look. Anyways, let's take a look at what we get in the box or the bag. So there is your first chain. If you open it, this is empty. You can put in here some of the stuff, maybe drum keys or a cleaning cloth or some cello tape for dampening the drum heads so let me just open the drum open the bag and take out the main content of the box or the bag so once you open it you can see that this is how it looks here is your small backpack here you can keep a couple of sticks or maybe some other things here is a small uh, pocket that you can keep some other stuff here is your connecting rod let's keep it out so this is a connecting rod this is built with metal now I'm not a very aggressive player but I've had very aggressive players uh, not necessarily good players but very aggressive player uh, people like who wants to literally break the drum so I've had people play with with my pedal and this lasted them so I'm, pro I'm pretty sure that this will last uh, anybody very very long time so this is the connecting rod let's keep it aside let's see what else we get in the box so we will get the first pedal let's keep it here and we will get the another pedal and let missed anything so we have not missed anything That is pretty much it. Inside and inside the bag, I'm also keeping a small leather belt. Uh, I have these pieces from leather belts because these are sometimes handy. Uh, if I am playing on my drum, what I like to do is I put them between the drum head, sorry, between the drum rim and the table and the pedal, so that I'm not uh, putting scratch on the rim of the uh, drum when I'm attaching my pedal to the drum. So these types of things comes in handy. So this is pretty much what you get in the bag. The bag seems pretty decent. It will last you very very long time. And let's take a look at the pedal itself. So this is going to be our uh, right side pedal. And this is going to be our left side pedal. And this is going to be the connecting rod. So to connect the two pedal, all you will have to do is basically connect these two. And then you will connect the other pedal. like that and once you're done you can close them 
Now I forgot to mention but inside the pedal you will also get a, a, a Allen key and a drum key your normal standard size drum key. So let me just attach the beater. Now honestly speaking I really don't like the beater that came with this. Anyways let's just install them. Let me tighten up the uh, connecting rod first. It's tight and the other one. It's also tight. So let's attach the beater. That's first the main one. And then the second one. So I have connected everything and as you can see these are the beating head. I don't like usually these types of beating head because I really don't like the sound that these types of head makes but uh, if you're just starting out these will sound really really beautiful. So as you can see these are chain driven pedal. The springs are only on these uh, on the main pedal. Uh, the main pedal is driven by this spring and the other pedal doesn't have any spring although you have some connection if you want more tension you can buy some extra spring and then you can use uh, that to uh, uh, to make uh, more tension on this pedal so it comes with some a couple of uh, what do you call them spikes so that once you are playing when you are playing you can uh, screw these tight onto the carpet or whatever surface you have uh, there are a couple other uh, settings that you can do you can also shorten the length of the chain you can also rotate this back and then tighten it with the uh, provided uh, allen key so these types of holes can be tightened or loosened by this allen key and other things can be uh, done by using your normal standard uh, drum key so let's talk about some of the uh, <coughs> features in fact uh, the things so the length of the pedal as you can see is about exactly one feet which I really like and the actual pedal length is about uh, 10 inches as you can see this is your uh, resting space and the same goes for this type this pedal so these are the beating head and as you can see when I play the left pedal the left head moves and I play the right pedal the right head moves and then you can use these pedal to play usually metal kind of uh, genres on music so the connecting rod i was really uh, skeptic whether the connecting rod would be strong enough or not but uh, i think the connecting rod the joints are really really good uh, quality the build quality is really great uh, the thickness of the pedal is also decent these are not very heavy and because uh, the pedal length is also very long you can do some uh, heel toe technique like you can press at the back and then slide it up and then press it again so gives you a very a long surface to play with okay so i couldn't find anything uh, to play on because my drums are not assembled and i don't have much space in my room to assemble them so this is what i'm going to use this is my old CRT monitor. If you remember one of my previous videos, you will remember that I have bought a new monitor because this monitor stopped working. Although this was my favorite monitor, but I am going to use this as a drum practice pad just for this video. So these are your right pedal. As you can see, when you press the right pedal, uh, the right pedal moves. And when you press the left pedal, the left beater moves. And then you can use, play some intricate beats. I am very out of practice but uh, when I was playing I was pretty good at it. So at the moment I can't really move my leg that great but you get the idea I think if you are in the market you should definitely t uh, take a look at some of the Mapex pedal. I think they are making pretty good quality pedals and let me give you a couple of side profiles uh, of the pedal. Yeah I am really out of practice. So this is how the pedal looks from the side. 
let me just put it in this direction and depending upon your taste you can also move the left pedal either forward or backward however you feel to play so there we go this was my video on the mapex 501TW double pedal I bought this for 13,000 rupees and I think there are different models available now but this particular model is not available so I hope you found this video helpful and if you're in the market for a decent double pedal you should definitely take a look at some pedals from mapex Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.